Tastes like Christmas grass. Happy holidays, everyone. Princess the Bear here. We're back at University of Orlando because it's time to celebrate the holidays because the holidays are universal. With snacks and treats yes. and drinks. Because this is your number one choice in foodie infotainment. We're here to show you all the things. Remember, cheese vegan. I'm not. We're always in food. Remember, holidays are universal. You heard the girl. I'm so happy to have the vegan butter cookie back in my life. I got the smallest and probably the ugliest one in the case, but it doesn't matter because I know it's gonna be tasty. So, let's just enjoy. It's basically a blonde brownie with these beautiful breaded innards, brown sugar on top. There's like a caramel drizzle you can barely see. Cheers. Literally the best dessert for the holidays. I wish they had this at Epcot Festival of Holidays because it's missing one really good vegan dessert. They just don't have it. And this is it. This is the solution to that problem. I guess you just gotta come to both parts and visit so you can have a, a foodie filled holiday. Five out of five, it's a princess city's item. Give me the snowflake all the time. Please and thank you, Universal. I will have to say, this is supposed to look like a snowflake. If you run into a snowflake that's this color, do not eat it. They tell you not to eat yellow snow. Uh, don't eat any snow other than why don't eat snow at all. The snow is gross. That, however, is not gross. You got a nice balance of like cinnamon and like a little bit of caramel. Well balanced, light and springy. I wish it was a bit bigger, less oddly shit. I feel like the ones in the past have been about a third larger than what this one is, but it's a good and actually vegan dessert. I have no complaints other than that. Four to five plus. Now when the princess told me that I had to eat a oatmeal spice bundt cake, I was not excited. But a good way to get me excited about anything is to put a face on it. I'm not mad about a little gingy face. Gingy, not gingers. Don't worry gingers, I love you too, but it's a different sort of love. I'm just gonna go ahead, uh, how am I gonna cut in this? Yes, I'm eating cake with a spoon. Judge me. But you know what you can do? You can't stop me. Load up a little bit of the cake right between the snowman's legs, as it should be. Take him for a ride. And here I managed the solid chocolate medallion. No white chocolate, just decorated chocolate, which is a nice sort of like topping for the cake. I don't get spiced oatmeal from it. It is like a spiced cake, but I'm not getting like the oatmeal from it. I use the spiced cake, lots of spongy. I have a hard time when I use it on my own. I'm not a cake person. And those of you who have been here long enough well know, but I actually am unoffended by this cake. Three and a half out of five plus. I think I liked it. I finished mine way before Bear. Way before Bear. We're coming to Seuss Landing in hopes that this will be better than our Grinch breakfast was. That was a terrible breakfast, but I'm not, I don't have high hopes. Either way, we're gonna go try to enjoy this. Princess wants a tree for Christmas. Real I one. owe her a tree, a real Christmas tree. You guys need to send her ideas for like a tree skirt. She's been looking for a tree skirt for like four months. I need the perfect one, I haven't found it yet. <laughs> You're right out of time. I know. Real quickly. <laughs> Now because we are in Sioux Lang, I could get the Grinch heart cookie, which is their treat for Christmas this year, but I just had that cookie at the Grinch and Friends meet and greet breakfast, and they didn't love it. So then the hot chocolate bomb has dairy in it, so that's not good for Bear either. I mean, I'd risk it, but then there wouldn't be much of a video after that. This is true. And then as far as vegan goes, you have a 
popcorn, and Grinch salt. popcorn, and cotton candy. Both of which are gluten free, but Bear doesn't want either of those either. So we'll say the popcorn story for another day. I think I've told it before, but I, I don't. I don't do popcorn I, like ever. I guess we'll just walk through the holidays here and then move on to the next food thing. Love Christmas. All right. Well, that was the short trek through Seuss Island, or Seuss Landing. I had to ask the princess, given the 120 minute wait time, would you rather pay the $60 fast pass for the Grinch for breakfast or wait until our line? I mean, you don't have to eat the breakfast. You don't, technically. You could just go and have free juice and coffee and then go meet the Grinch and yeah. leave. Yeah. That is a that is a thing. You could definitely do, do that. I would do that. I would probably do the wait, but as I was just saying uh, before with the princess is that uh, I say that I'd wait two hours or 30 minutes and I would probably regret the decision and then try to blame it on her. Yep, and then I would go buy tickets for the Grinch. Yeah. because you keep giving us these pre-made cocktails and we had to suffer through that for Halloween Horror Nights. You had a lot of them at Mardi Gras last year. I'm hoping you don't have anything in Mardi Gras like this next year. At least more cocktails, less canned cocktails because some of these are quite terrible, but at least it is gluten-free and vegan. No sugar added, natural flavors. <laughs> it's getting worse all the time. I don't count my calories in alcohol. Maybe I should, but I don't. Vodka, vo vodka, seltzer, and real juice. I press X to doubt on the vodka part, but it's honestly not terrible. It is a lot better than some of the Trulies and everything else we had in Hollywood Horn Act. So I'll give it a three out of five. Points. So here we have the Brooklyn Brewing Winter IPA or IPA. For us to get tired of saying IPA all the time. Yeah, I'm gonna call it IPA. Y'all gonna get mad. Get over it. Uh, Why is it that when a craft beer says winter, they think that it must smell and taste like a Christmas tree? That's not what we're going for. There are other Christmas flavors, you know, there's like Christmas ham, there's acorn, there's cranberry, there's stuffing. This smells like pine trees. It's like Christmas grass. <laughs> Two to five claws. It's a, uh, it's a beer. Mm. A freshly baked 
the BLT. I love anything with tempeh. I love a good BLT. This has got lots of tempeh. We got arugula. We got a sauce. They made this fresh for me, so it is piping hot. I hope when you get your delectable sandwich, yours is piping hot as well. Cheers. Mm. I think this VBLT tastes better than the one we had last year. Something about the food this year is just kicking up and I'm here for it. It's got a nice kick to it. I would say it's like a four out of 10 on the heat scale. Just enough to make you a little hot. But it is really tasty. I miss some sort of tempeh sandwich at Universal because they really know how to tempeh. And this is gonna satisfy my craving for probably like six months. So, I would say it's a five out of five. It's a Princess City's item. If you're coming for the holidays, this is what you should have. It's like a unique sandwich that you're not gonna make at home typically. The way it's pressed and seasoned. So it's like, you know, trying something new. We like trying new things here. I don't know whether to call this whole area like the Mel Stand area or the Yule, Yule, Yule Stand. Is that when Mel's reopen, it better have like projection mapping, LED Michael Jackson style Billie Jean floors. Cause it's been closed for a while. That restaurant is not that big. As for Panini, this is big. Universal has done one thing this year, right? Portion sizes, well worth the money. When you order something now, it's not like a, it's not like a huge, like a full meal, but you're definitely gonna walk away from what you eat feeling full. It's like it would be so easy to lazily cook tempeh. Throw it in sandwich. Peppers, the sauce. The whole bite, the crispness of the bread. That's good. The way they can consistently seem to be able to do tempeh correctly. And like a quick service style setup here. Amazes me. That is good. And I don't even care what my food tastes like. I want that. I want to fight the princess. Like an arm wrestle. Maybe like a thumb wrestle for it. Four and a half out of five. Four. Here we have this turkey dinner sandwich. On a multi-grain bread, you got turkey, looks like some cranberry dressing in there. Uh, and that's what, oh no, there's cheese. There's like a log of cheese in there. Cranberry, it, it's a messy looking sandwich, but it's got a beautiful color to it. No, I feel like we just had Thanksgiving, like two days ago, three days ago. We did. And everything we're going to wants to keep feeding me Thanksgiving dinner. At least the food tastes good. Disney Springs Earl sandwich could never. That they do a holiday sandwich, okay? That's just multi-grain bread, some turkey, and some cheese, and it tastes like I actually know how to cook. Yes, that's some shaded Earl sandwich. That place is terrible. Everyone of you that loves that or told me you love the comments, I'm not mad at you. I feel sorry for you for accepting such a low bar when there's better food for a lot cheaper. Look at that 4.75 out of 5 claws. I thought I was going to hate this because it's a little bit greasy. It is a little bit greasy, but the flavor is so good. I'm willing to do it just a tiny bit. Bear and I have been wandering around Universal trying to find a holiday drink and finding none except for like the couple of specialty cans. We finally found one. This is the Holiday Chomper. It is not listed on the menu or anywhere. Thankfully, Josh, our bartender for today, hooked it up, let us know. Murph isn't working today otherwise. Shout out to Murph. This is a Seagram's 7 drink with some cranberry juice. So I'm here for it. Oh, there's a copious amount of Monin cinnamon syrup in here and you can taste it like it definitely feels like i just had some like spiced punch that's cold i'm here for it i want like three of these i'm gonna give it four out of five beverages i feel joyful and triumphant i've been trying to get in the holiday mood all day but it's just it feels like holidays light this year i feel like in years past especially like 
2021, it was a lot more like specialty cocktails, specialty foods. It's very like, I do it's like the week after, the couple days after Thanksgiving, but like I'm not the Christmas mood. I'm hoping that this will finally help. You got the uh, Secret Seven, you got some gummy sharks in here. I'm gonna chomp the holidays. Chomp them. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Let me try the little soaked gummy shark. Christmas is the color of blood. It works for me. Four to five claws. I was not expecting much out of this drink. Some of the drinks here for holidays and hit and miss. This is actually pretty good. Come here. Sierra Boys, Josh and Merv. Get you a holiday chomper. potato jacket we got vegan feta on here we got some cranberry action I saved this for the end because I truly feel like sweet potato is dessert it smells like dessert it tastes like dessert it's the smallest potato jacket I've ever had but it's really flavorful I love the nuts and the cranberry sauce I thought I was going to love the vegan feta the most, but it's the flavor that throws me off. I don't, I'm not into it. I I think it's a little disjointed flavor wise, but I think it's, um, it has potential. I'm going to give it a 3.25 out of 5 potato jackets. It's probably like my second favorite potato jacket that I've had from the London taxi stand, but um, I don't think I would proactively come here for this a lot. Unless you're like a big sweet potato lover, which I'm not. I wouldn't recommend this. You have the colorful jacket potato. Now this is a small boy. I'm used to the jacket potato that you get from the taxi stand being like, I don't know, almost size? twice the size. This thing feels like the runt of the litter. There's lots of color into it. You got the cranberries, you got the nuts, you got the feta. I'm excited for something new. That stand has the potential to have the like the best vegan potatoes anywhere in the park. It has all the fixings. It just needs some pizzazz. I'm hoping this is a pizzazz. Mm. Honestly, I'm, I'm on board with 85% of this potato. Cranberry is great. Sweet potato? I'm not the world's biggest sweet potato friend. Pour is a sweet potato every year for Thanksgiving as a child. Even the, the spiced nuts work, what doesn't work for me is the feta cheese. It feels out of place. Like it's like you have all these like sweet, interesting flavors that mesh well, and there's the feta like ruining Thanksgiving dinner. It's like your crazy uncle, almost. Like why, why did he even show up to dinner? The potato is good. If you get it, I would suggest asking it with no feta. Give it four out of five plus. That has been Holidays at Universal. I'm feeling Universal, but I'm not feeling the holidays. This did not give me any spirit. I feel like it's missing something. A sprinkle of this, a sprinkle of that. I don't feel enough holiday spirit. Bear's being a Grinch. I am being a Grinch. My heart just shrank three sizes. Well, at least we have something joyful and triumphant. AKA the parade. But if there's more Universal holiday stuff you guys like to see us do, of course, the comments are always in place to find us. That's your number one choice in food, entertainment, video, what to do. That's where you get to us. Hit the notification bell. We'll see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. And if you don't comment, barely you subscribe to us. So great. You heard the girl.
was just a boy. Christmas brought so much joy. Couldn't wait for the presents and laughter. I couldn't sleep late at night, looking for Santa with lights. Those are the memories I still remember. Then I became a man, lost sight of who I am, but right in front of me. Song.